Good morning, Smarties, and happy Wednesday. Uh, middle of the week, so we're almost a Friday. Uh, hang in there. So I am here with your reading lesson for today. Um, it is going to be kind of a shorter lesson, um, which is A-OK -okay because it's going to be beautiful outside, and I want you outside playing and getting some fresh air. Um, don't forget to read. Okay, that's always, always so important every day to make sure you're practicing your reading skills. Set up your stuffed animals in front of you and read to them like a class. Read to a sibling. Read to a parent. Read to uh, maybe grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle over the phone or a friend. Um, just make sure you are reading some um, way. So don't forget about that. If you did not check out our STEM challenge from yesterday, we made bubble snakes. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, you just need a water bottle, a sock, and some dish soap and water. Um, everything you can probably find at home. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. So make sure you check that out um, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we did that yesterday. Today we have reading, writing, math, and then we have a fun science project uh, with Oreo cookies. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, back to reading. So make sure you read. Um, don't forget to practice your spelling words. That is super important as well. Uh, our question of the day today is, what treasures would you like to hunt for in your neighborhood? So yesterday we read a song and actually a story um, about Roy and Joy, Roy and Joy hunting, okay, for treasures. And then we also talked about what kinds of things do you see in your neighborhood? Um, so today's question of the day is, what would you like to hunt for in your neighborhood? What kinds of treasures? Um, maybe you live closer to some woods, um, so that's kind of like your neighborhood. And what, what treasures would you like to find in there? Um, maybe you, you live in a subdivision with other houses. Uh, what would you? What kind of treasures would you like to hunt for in that neighbor? And not necessarily treasures like a, bo a box of gold or something. Treasures like. Maybe you want to find a lucky penny, or if you're in the woods, maybe you want to find a certain kind of flower or a four-leaf clover. That'd be fun to hunt for. So stuff like that that you could actually find in your neighborhood or in um, around where you live. So that is the your question of the day. Just kind of think about that. Um, but we are going to talk about poetry, and we are going to specifically talk about a type of poetry called Haiku. Now, if you guys read the poetry book in the classroom that I made after you put your poems together, um, all the ones that I created and then I drew the pictures, a lot of you guys might remember that book. All of those poems were actually haikus. A haiku is a very specific poem. Um, it doesn't rhyme. I mean, it can rhyme, but it doesn't always have to rhyme. Um, but a haiku is a, is a a type of poem, like I said, that's the genre, and it is um, three lines, okay, and it goes by syllables. So the first line is five syllables, whether that is five words that are each one syllable, or maybe it's four words, but one word has two syllables, but it has to be five, then seven syllables, then five syllables, so it goes five, seven, five, okay, five, seven, five. Um, so that is what we're going to do today in our book. So our story for today is called Haiku, okay, by Richard Wright. Oh, look at this beautiful illustration about on his neighborhood. Okay, so here we go. Keep straight down this block, then turn right where you will find a peach tree blooming. Okay, that is his haiku. I'm going to read it one more time. Keep straight down this block, then turn right where you will find a peach tree blooming. So let's look at this. Let's look at the first line. Okay, keep, one syllable. Straight, one syllable. Down, one syllable. This, 
one syllable block. Five syllables, five words, each one syllable, that means there's your five. Then turn right where you will find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of those words are one syllable each, therefore you have seven syllables. Okay, then the next one. A peach tree blooming. A, one, peach, one, tree, one, blooming. Blooming, two, one, two, three, four, five. So there you see where you have less words. You only had four words, but the last word could be the first word, second word, but one of the words was two syllables. Okay, so five, seven, five. And it was cool because that's kind of like something you would hunt for maybe in your neighborhood. Maybe there is a special tree in your neighborhood, an apple tree or uh, a peach tree or uh, a cherry blossom. Well, no, not cherry blossom tree, but um, those are more in Washington. I'm trying to think of some other trees that are really pretty. Anyways, um, a birch tree. Maybe there's a special tree okay, in your neighborhood and that's something that you um, would like to go on a hunt for. So... That is your lesson for today. It is about haikus. So what I want you to think about, today is a very special day. Does anyone know what today is? Today is Earth Day. Okay, Earth Day. We um, live on planet Earth. We have one. Okay, only one. We need to take care of it. Um, so do something today. Your reading lesson for today is do something today to help the Earth. Okay, whether that is get some exercise for you so you can stay healthy and um, breathe the fresh air, whether it's pick up some trash around your yard um, or if you go on um, a bike ride, okay, wear gloves, ask permission first, um, plant some flowers, plant a tree, um, plant some seeds in the ground, maybe not quite in the ground, maybe start them in the house and then you can transplant them into the ground outside once it gets a little warmer more consistently. But do something for the earth, okay? Um, instead of going in, in the car today, maybe encourage to ride your bike somewhere, okay? Because cars cause pollution. Um, so do something for the earth today. Today is Earth Day. Um, and like I said, we have only one. So we need to take care of it and take care of each other. So happy Earth Day. Get outside and enjoy this beautiful day that we have on Earth Day. But do something for the earth. Like I said, pick up a piece of trash. Um, it's all about being a good citizen, which we talk about in the classroom. Um, picking up some trash. Um, like I said, planting seeds. Just doing something to make the earth a better place to live. Um, so, do something for Earth Day. And then, um, I also want you to kind of think about a haiku poem that you would want to write about. Okay, and I'm going to give you two options. Okay, so it's just a five cent five. You're not doing this today. Don't want you to pick a pencil and paper today, but as you're outside enjoying this beautiful Earth Day, I want you to be thinking about your haiku. Okay, it is either going to be about um, Earth Day. Okay, even though we're going to do it tomorrow, even though today's Earth Day, that's okay. We're going to do it tomorrow. So it's either going to be about Earth Day, your haiku poem, or it's going to be about your neighborhood, okay? Maybe something you find in your neighborhood, um, very similar to what they did. They went on a hunt in their neighborhood to find a peach tree blooming. So your, your two options are you're, gonna, you're either going to write a haiku poem tomorrow about Earth Day and kind of maybe what you did or what it means to you, or you're going to write one about your neighborhood. Okay, something maybe you find in your neighborhood, something that's special about your neighborhood. Um, those are your two options. So think about that today. Just kind of brainstorm, get some ideas. Um, you can even say it in your head so you're ready to go. Count out the syllables. Make sure it's a 575. Just brainstorm today. Sometimes when you're outside and you're breathing that fresh air and you're just kind of letting your mind wander, okay, sometimes that's the best way to get those ideas. Um, and something might pop into your head and you're like, oh, that's what I want to write about. And you start thinking about it. Sometimes that's the best way. You see something outside and it sparks an idea. So get outside. Do something for Earth Day. Make sure you read today. 
and we will do a haiku um, activity tomorrow. All right, I'll be back with your reading and math. Bye for now, Smarties.